Hello guys and welcome to another video. Uh, today I want to present you another, uh, another computer, Pentium 1. Uh, this is the based on the CPU uh, IBM uh, 6A6 uh, P166 Plus and uh, if you take a look, uh, a look closer to the the processor itself, we see that uh, is the 133 MHz and dash through uh, 3.5 volts. Okay, uh, the motherboard is the PA2005. Uh, uh, the motherboard is in very good condition. Uh, however, the CMOS battery needs to be replaced. Uh, the uh, after I uh, I tested out this, uh, the computer itself and uh, I saved a couple of things in the BIOS. Uh, they, uh, they will show me that the um, uh, the checksum error all the time, and uh, uh, the battery, uh, the chipset, uh, the BIOS ch battery chip uh, must be replaced. Of course, uh, we do have the uh, the video card. This is the S3. I believe this uh, four megabyte on PCI standard. It has uh, sixteen megabyte of RAM right here. The Edo SIM and uh, we do have uh, another two slots that are free and uh, it can uh, also be upgraded to the uh, 32 probably or else uh, okay this is uh, what you have right here yeah uh, one uh, uh, this uh, this ones uh, are the the parallel port and the uh, uh, for the printer and the uh, uh, serial com uh, 3 com for the mouse uh, we do have right here mouse uh, made by uh, Logitech and uh, this one is uh, with the ball that needs to be uh, cleaned up but I already done that and uh, the mouse looks very nice right now and of course it's working on the Tricom like I said the serial this is the the connector that's supposed to go in the back of the computer okay uh, we do have the cooler right here it's a very very tiny one uh, of course, uh, if the uh, I already cleaned uh, the the radiator and the fan because there was a lot of dust inside. Also, the case was very dusty. Right here, we have the connectors for the motherboard, the power switch, the power LED, and the reset. Who goes? Uh, right here, we have the LEDs. If you take a look uh, a little close here, the power. Of course, this is go for the AT because this the power supply is AT. It's not like the ATX. And we do have the mode and the hold uh, and the hard drive, pardon. And right here uh, we're having the reset. The case looks very nice. However, okay, uh, let's talk about the uh, the keyboard. Uh, we do have uh, a keyboard right here, uh, designed for the Windows. This is uh, goes for the AT connector. This is very uh, very different from the uh, PS2 because the connector is bigger and it has. Uh, a different type of uh, connection feet that you can uh, see right here it has five feet inside and there is uh, another spot right here that is supposed to go directly into the motherboard very nice keyboard I like the feeling I like the way it's built it's very nice and also it's very heavy okay like I said uh, this component doesn't belong to me again I just borrow it for the uh, uh, for the testing and uh, right here we have the power supply as you can see we have the AT connector power supply that it goes right here and uh, when you when you try installing it it's not like the ATX motherboard all you have to do is just remove one piece because uh, they are made by two sep separate uh, pieces and uh, always uh, you have to be careful when you're actually doing that because the black must must be inside all the time, not the outside. So, anyway, these are the connectors for the printer and the, like I said before, uh, we do have the power supply that is uh, almost 200 watts. And, uh, is in, pardon. The power supply itself uh, is 200 watts. Uh, I never heard about this brand, uh, Timir, I'm not sure what exactly, uh, Timiro Industrial Corp. 
uh, these are the specs from the uh, output okay we do have the 5 volts and uh, 12 volts 20 amps on the 5505A uh, uh, max and for the 8 amps max for the 05A max anyway like I said uh, for these vintage computers uh, they're working uh, uh, more on the they were based on the 5 volts rail instead of 12 volts rail like the modern ones computers so yeah you can make an idea okay and uh, there is a zip tie here that is connecting the the floppy disk and and all all the cables tight okay now this is the the cd rom drive this is the samsung uh, i struggle uh, yesterday a lot by uh, putting this to work but unfortunately the uh, it has uh, something is damaged inside I opened up the the optical drive and uh, cleaned the lens and also I replaced the belts there is uh, there are here there is uh, actually the the for the mechanism there is uh, popping out the uh, uh, the drawer for the ECD but unfortunately it doesn't work so we have another problem the second is the uh, is the floppy disk, uh, the 144 inch. That is goes very nicely. is made by Panasonic and uh, is in fully working condition and doesn't have any issues. Uh, the buttons uh, are working just fine, to be honest. And also the reset and the LEDs. But the uh, the optical drive uh, it gives me a lot of problems. And uh, without it, I cannot install the uh, Windows 95 or Windows 98. Uh, uh, however, there is another issue. Uh, this motherboard, uh, the the PA two thousand five, uh, uh, it only supports hard drives uh, maximum to two point five uh, gig uh, gigabyte. This is the Quantum Fireball, uh, the hard drive, and uh, I had another hard drive, the Western Digital, that has uh, four gigabytes or or bigger, but. Uh, yeah. When I was installing it, uh, the motherboard does, uh, was not able to to see the hard drive uh, into the BIOS, so I had to uh, replace the hard drive. And uh, this one is making a lot of noise and clicking. I believe there is dying. I'm not sure uh, if if the uh, the owner of this hard drive uh, uh, put it somewhere safe or uh, probably has bad bad sectors on it, or I'm not sure. But my uh, my intention is to give it a try and try the Pentium one on the compact uh, Prestaria that I've seen in my previous videos. I didn't uh, uh, I couldn't find the SCSI hard drive, and uh, I decided and the uh, and the Voodoo graphics card, like I said, on the PCI standard uh, for these ones uh, because they're very expensive. And uh, second, for the hard drive, the uh, SCSI uh, there was not available. Uh, on the sale anymore. I have talked to, to the seller from the forum that was selling this kind of thing, uh, this, uh, this kind of things. Pardon, and uh, he also said that uh, he doesn't have any more. So I'm gonna have to wait a little longer. But uh, of course, the video will be made eventually and try the games uh, like I showed you. Uh, I decided to try it out and borrow this computer from uh, another friend of mine and. Uh, uh, try uh, the couple of games that I said the Need for Speed and. Uh, other games that are important for this era, for the 1996. Anyway, uh, first, uh, first off, I'm gonna uh, need to replace the optical drive from here to another that is uh, working on the IDE, uh, fully working condition one. And uh, from where I uh, search on the internet, I found that uh, uh, the IDE one are more expensive, and I had to pay like uh, uh, 20 euros or so. So I'm going to have to wait for uh, next week to go exactly and uh, search for the optical drive to install the the operating system because it's very important. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you in the other videos.